our other top story tonight. We're learning more about that report from the Kern County Public Health Department. In it, the health department saying an hall ambulance is violating county ordinance by not responding to calls fast enough in 2017. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores taking a closer look at those documents and has the latest details. The largest EMT provider in Kern County not responding quick enough. According to Kern County's Public Health Services Department, these documents show in September of 2017, Public Health first notified Hall Ambulance that they were failing to meet response time standards in five of the seven areas they operate in. In some areas for as many as six consecutive months, those areas encompassing Lost Hills, Wasco, Bakersfield, Fraser Park, Tehachapi, Orvin, Lamont, California City, and Mojave. Public Health notified Hall Ambulance again in October. President of Hall Ambulance Harvey Hall responded, claiming internal reports provided to Hall management were not accurate, saying, quote, had we known months ago that we had a compliance issue, we would have promptly made changes to our deployment plan to rectify the problem. Hall also attested weather and coding errors as reasons why time standards were not met. In November, another letter sent to Hall Ambulance regarding four areas that were not in compliance. Hall responded, pointing out the areas where they had seen improvement and claimed they had hired dozens of employees. Hall received a fourth letter in January regarding four areas, again, not in compliance. To that letter, Hall responded saying offload delays on behalf of hospitals translated into their poor response times. Hall's January letter continues saying, quote, the hospitals which are not subject to any sanctions for performance have found that it is easy to dump their problem on my employees and me. In a February report to the Board of Supervisors, Public Health says they have been meeting with Hall Ambulance on a regular basis and sending monthly notices requiring Hall Ambulance to respond within 10 days with a plan that will fix the problem. Public Health adds that they would like to provide more transparency to the public by reporting ambulance provider response times on their website. And that was Alyssa Flores reporting the report expected to be presented at the next Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday. The Department of Public Health and Hall Ambulance said they'll both would not talk on camera with us until after that meeting takes place.